Please welcome Linda Hamilton. I've been hearing, you can sit, I've been hearing so much about these muscles and, and you really do have them. Here they are. She just grabbed me, yes. I thought Arnold grabbed me, I had to look again to see who it was. Now tell me about this training program. Yeah, well, Arnold's jealous. He's very jealous. Um, I worked hard, you know, for, I've been doing it for a year now. We started last July um with a, a great trainer working six days a week two to three hours a day uh, a lot of aerobics trampoline in between sets free weights every day um running yeah. you know, are you going to keep it, it up torture you gonna yeah. keep it up yeah i have really? to it's gotten so much attention now i have no chance really of like dropping out you know yeah. um yeah it's a way of life to do it you, you did more than, than, like, uh, weight training for your body, though. You did a lot of things so that the movie would look real, I guess. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of work to do to sort of get into the mind of the character. Um, I worked with a, a commando in the afternoons, an Israeli commando, who taught me the military skills that I needed to learn, you know. Um, it was pretty interesting, I'm sure, we, <laughs> for my neighbors. <laughs> who had to listen to me in the backyard pretending to fire I me mean, with automatic weapons ash, 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 with bloody targets lying everywhere and and uh we worked you know with judo uh changing magazines and changing positions as you get ready to reload and um throwing tennis balls at me just to keep my focus you know anything can come from out of the blue at any time when you're dealing with that kind of stuff so it was it was intense yeah is it true that you thought before the first movie Terminator 1, you thought that Arnold wasn't right? Yeah, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you feel that I way? I thought um, he, was, he looked so much like a machine that um, it wasn't as interesting to cast him as a machine, you know, that the, the real feats of strength coming from a smaller, wiry person would be more interesting, but I was completely wrong. I mean, you know, he, he really got, got it and uh, served it real well. Isn't the Terminator, the, the new guy in this movie, isn't he more like that, a little smaller? Yeah, uh, small, physically a lot smaller than Arnold, uh, a real athlete. I mean, the man does a great job, Robert Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, again, I wasn't sure that was going to work either. Oh, really? Yeah, never ask me for my opinion, it's clear. You're a great uh, actress, but, and, and, and you look good, but not yeah, a good casting yeah, person. Yeah, right. Well, actually, no, I, I, I think Robert is the choice, and he's definitely the one, but... Um, I wasn't sure it was going to be as, as effective, this one, because it's a different kind of uh, a machine, much more fluid. You know, they use uh, digitalization uh, from the computer. It's, 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 it's a more sort of insidious kind of machine, not the robotic, intense strength that Arnold offered. Um, but it, it flows, and I thought, ah, oh, I don't know if anybody's going to be scared of this. Mm -hmm. Well, I was the first one when when I saw it for the first time in the audience going, whoa, look at that. I mean, it works. It works real well. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, you're, uh, you're not new to hits, but how does this one feel? This feels real good. It is the biggest movie of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a commercial. We'll be right back with Linda Hamilton. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie in its entirety, and I feel terrible. I'm going tonight. Good. I'm going tonight. But uh, go my mom, I'm going to go twice because I feel bad, and I'm going <laughs> to and I'm going to pay. I'm not going to screen it. I'm going to pay both times. My mom went, and my mom says you get licked. She was t she was telling me about different. Did you get licked by someone? Yeah, I get licked. That was about I'd say the hardest moment in the film for me because like all the other stuff you're ready for. You know, you're ready to be strong in your body, and you know that the machines are coming and. This was just a moment where an orderly in the mental hospital, I'm like strapped to the bed, 
And of course, my parents were there watching us shoot that night, the only time they've ever come to watch me work. Mm -hmm. And I'm strapped to a hospital bed, and this orderly gets to bend over and just lick all up my entire face. It really Ooh. shocks the audience. It's really hard to take. And, and even <laughs> though, you know, you're doing your work and you understand the moment, it's hard to take. But somebody <laughs> does that over and over and over again. How many takes? But he gets his. <laughs> Oh, okay. He gets his. He How gets do you his. get him? You lick him back later? Well, that's, yeah, that's, I lick him. <laughs> that's more than he deserves. Yeah. How, how no. do you get... Oh, you shouldn't tell us how you got him back. No, no, you'll see. Okay. Uh, no, when my mom said she gets licked, I was like, well, mom, it's a, it's a violent film. You're going to get beat up, you know? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, baby. Not what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's ugly. It's ugly. <laughs> tell me about the director of this movie. I, I've admired his work for a long time. Yeah. James Cameron. Cameron? Yeah. Uh, a wonderful director. I believe in him wholeheartedly. Um, you know, he's uh, taken a rap for maybe not being as as um, involved in, in the actors. Or, you know, he's a very demanding, tough director, but I was ready for it this time. I, uh, I walked away from the first picture saying, this man is rooting for the machines. You mm. know, he was not on my side particularly, but um, this one... You know, we, we, we really collaborated a lot beforehand. We created a character together, and it was a breeze. And I, I think he's brilliant. Yeah, I think I'm starting to recognize some of his work because he, he does a lot of great special effect type yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's good, that's good. Um, let's, special effects, let's talk about uh, twins. You are <laughs> yeah, a twin? I, yeah, I have my own special effect. Yeah. Did you all do a lot of things when you were young? Yeah, all the, all the silly tricks that one plays. Um, Mostly me. I was really destructive. I was a nightmare. And I would, uh, I would do something and, and, and disappear, and the, the neighborhood boy would, would beat her up. I mean, she was just a <laughs> sweet, unsuspecting thing. And the, the guy would, like, burst around the corner and go, Oh, yeah, you turned over my bike while well, here! And she would have no idea what was going on. I was really a monster. Yeah. But, um, what does she do? She's recovered. Yeah. <laughs> what does she do for a living? She's a nurse, a mother of three. She lives in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Great gal. Now, you live out here in L.A. Yeah. Do twins have freaky psychic things? I mean, you're, you're here, she's there. Do you all experience strange twin-type things? Yeah, we have. Um, now we are so close, we talk on the phone every day. I mean, mm -hmm. we're just best friends. It took us a while to get there. I mean, I spent a lot of, of, of my time in rebellion. You know, I mean, she was sort of the cheerleader and, you know, the sweet thing. And I, like, butched my hair off and, and cut my eyelashes for two years. You know, anything to not be pretty, not compete, you know. I mean, it was really a nasty phase. But um, we've shared a dream before. We've shared a hallucination. I remember once waking up in the middle of the night and I saw smoke coming out of the chest in between our twin beds. I went, Leslie, the toy chest is on fire. And she woke up and saw it. You know, and it wasn't on fire. I mean, who knows what I was experiencing it, but it conveyed to her. You know, it's amazing how we're just, I mean, we're genetically identical, so it doesn't take much to key into each other. We have bad days on the same day, and we had yeah. babies eight days apart. My baby is now 21 months, and she had one eight days after I did, which is kind of wonderful. Wow. Yeah, we're close. That's very interesting. Yeah. And, and, and I got, like, I'd like to continue on that, but I got to ask you one more thing while I got you here. Um, Beauty and the Beast, which yeah. is where a lot of people who uh, don't go out to movies know you from. Were you bothered by the way that show ended? It, it, it kind of... It, it... Fizzled out. Yeah, and, and you had a lot of fans for that show. Yeah. Well, you know, that show made me mad because he got the hair. <laughs> he got the interesting clothes. He got the shoulder pads. There was no place for me. In <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I... I wanted to. I wanted it to end. I, I had a good two years, but um, I had a baby. I wanted to be a mom. Um, you know, obviously, there's not much of a story if you take beauty out of Beauty and the Beast. Just like we kept saying, it should be called And the Beast. You know, after I left, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I guess it was sort of a, a, a proof to how well it worked between us that after it, it after I left, it just it didn't happen. But um, you know, I, I I had a good two years, and it was just enough. Late at night, though. You got to feel good when you say, you know, I left the show and it folded. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> and I never even watched it after I left it. That's <laughs> true. Are you a Nielsen family? <laughs> yeah, uh, all by but, myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it, it, was, it was a good show. Yeah. You plan on doing any more TV or is it film from here on out? I have no plans. Um, 
I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> How about a Terminator 3? Oh, God, not yet. <laughs> um, who's to say? I mean, obviously, I have all the clear answers. Don't cast Arnold. Don't do the digitalization. I don't know. I don't know what T3 will be or if there will be one. Um, I feel pretty much like we've made our point. This is a very strong film, and, and there isn't a lot left to say, you know, unless it's all about the big bucks and sort of trying to make the money, you know, in a third one. But none of us are interested in that. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see. And no Beauty and the Beast movie where you all Not get married me. and you live in the sewer and you all make love and have... No. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Not quite. It's over. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks. And you look great. We're happy yeah. about the movie, aren't we?